Every time a user leaves your site without buying something or signing up or anything, you've lost the sale potentially for good. But you can capture more of them if you're using the right pop-up. So today I'm gonna to tell you about the different types of pop-ups, which ones to use and which ones to avoid. I'm gonna walk you through building an exit pop-up on your site. You'll use my site for it for today. And you'll be able to check on my site and see that it's active right after this video if you want to. So if that sounds good to you, make sure that you like this video, comment and let me know what you think about pop-ups in general and stick around until the end to find out how you can get a free one hour consultation with me, totally free, and another awesome freebie that I wanna tell you about at the end. But until then, let's get started. So there are three types of pop-ups. And by the way, I'm only talking about in-browser pop-ups here. I'm not talking about pop-ups that open up new browser windows and there's like 5,000 of them and you can't X them out fast enough. That's not what I'm talking about because those have been banned and made impossible to create because they are so annoying. So those are not made anymore. We're talking about in-browser pop-ups. These are part of your web page and they pop up in the browser, okay? So there are three types. There's a timer pop-up, a scroll length pop-up, and an exit pop-up. So the timer pop-up is exactly like it sounds it pops up on a timer. So if you've been on the page for 30 seconds, then it'll give you that pop-up. Scroll length pop-up is also like it sounds. If you go down a certain amount of distance on the page, let's say 25% of the page, then it'll give you a pop-up. And then the third is an exit pop-up. So as you're getting ready to exit the page, then you'll get the pop-up, okay? So which ones should you use and which ones should you not? Only use the exit pop-up, only that one. The other two are annoying. Here's, here's the reasoning. So. You're, you're enjoying your time on the page. You're having a nice time reading the article or watching the video or whatever's on the page. And after 30 seconds, you're disturbed. Or after a certain amount down the page, you're disturbed. You're taken out of the moment. You're taken out of the moment where you were enjoying what you were reading or what you were watching. And now you have to be annoyed by this pop-up. Even if it's for two seconds, it's annoying. It takes them out of the moment. It increases the likelihood that they're gonna X out that pop-up and leave the page. Okay, whereas an exit pop-up, when you're going to go out of the page anyway, this is a way of bringing people back into the page, okay? So if you're already getting ready to leave and you see the exit pop-up, it doesn't bother you, you just keep leaving. But if you're getting ready to exit the page and you see it, you might be peaked to come back in. So that's why an exit pop-up is the most important and the only one that you should be using. Okay, let's go ahead and create it. Okay, so you can see now that we're in the uh, Level Me Up backend again, welcome back. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start by setting up the pop-up template, and then once you have the template, then you can move it into your page, wherever you wanna put it, okay? So it's just kind of a plug and play setup, but you have to build the template first. So let's go ahead over here, and we're gonna go down to Templates, Pop-ups. I'm gonna add a new pop-up, and we can, we're gonna call it a pop-up because that's what we want. And I'm gonna call this free ebook pop-up. Create new template. Now, it's gonna give me a lot of different options. There are a bunch of different templates that we can use, all sorts of different sides, like in the middle, on the sides, whatever we wanna do, they have an option for a template build-out that we can use. So that's great, but I think we're just gonna keep it simple for now. We're gonna be really pure and we're just gonna start a new one from scratch. So what I'm gonna do here is I had a LinkedIn guide that I was using as a free ebook magnet a while back. I'm still using it, you can get it if you want. But um, I'm gonna use that as a pop-up here. So I'm gonna include that as the pop-up in the menu. And if anybody is interested as they exit pop-up, they can, uh, they can get this guide, okay? So here we go, we're going to first put in a heading. And you know what, to make my life a little bit easier, I'm gonna actually open up the editor for the, the page, because it's gonna be pretty close to the same, but I wanna get all the formatting stuff, so we're gonna open this a second time. So the, the, the thing here is that I have basically all the information I wanna use, I'll just change it a little bit, but I'm gonna take the ideas here and we're gonna apply it. So I want that same image, I want the same text, so I'm just making my life easier. So let's go ahead back over to this tab here. Uh, okay, we need to grab this first. So we're gonna pull it out of that title tag, and we are going to, we're gonna put it in there. We need to stylize it the right way. So this is using this blue. So we will copy that, Command C, we'll style here. Great, we got the right color. Now let's go Francois one, 
and we don't have a size change. So I think I want to make that a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and push it up like that. And then we just need to center it. There we go, centered. Okay, so now let's put the image in. So we'll just put that right underneath. And we just choose the image. And I am looking for this one. Insert that. Now I think I want to make that a little bit smaller so it's not a super overwhelming image. So let's go for medium large. No, that's still a little bit too big. Let's go for medium. Nope, too small. Okay, we'll just, we'll keep it at medium large. That's probably fine. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we need a little bit of, hey, come download this text, some like push to make this happen, and then uh, an email form so that people can put that in and take the action that we want them to take. So let's go ahead and go back to the grid. And we're going to add a text editor. So we're just gonna come back over here. We're just gonna copy this. And then we will work on the style in a minute. You know what, I even wanna change it a little bit more. So let's go ahead and take this guy, put you down there. We wanna do something to really grab their attention first. So let's take another heading, we're gonna put it up top. And we're gonna make it, you know, mostly the same. So we wanna have the same text color. Good. We want to have the same typography as the title. So there you go. But we're going to make it bigger. We're going to center it here. And then we're going to make it really obvious. Wait. <laughs> nice and easy. Um, all right, so then we're gonna put, don't forget to grab. So I wanna make part of this block bigger and part of it smaller. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm actually gonna break this out into two. So rather than this BR here, I'm going to give this its own block. And then I'm going to duplicate you. And on the top one, I'm gonna change it to the text I wanted and then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so the last and most important thing that we need here is just to add a form. So we're gonna add a form so we can get our email address out of this person. So it adds you a form here that gives you a bunch of different stuff that we don't want. We just want the email address. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these two. Keep it simple. Let's get rid of that label at the top because I just don't like it very much. And then I wanna change this column width because I want that send button to be on the same line as the form itself. So we're going to change this column width to let's say 75 and then we need to change the buttons width as well to 25 and then they're on the same line. So we're not quite done yet. We're almost there, but uh, your actions after submit is actually the most important part here. So it can, it's already going to have like a default action where it, get, it sends you an email, but I'm not really interested in that. I'm interested in adding people to a list so we can do a double opt-in. We've talked about that in the, in the past, so you can check out this video if you want to get a little bit more information on that. But in any case, for now, I'm just gonna get rid of this action and I'm going to, first, I wanna redirect them to a thank you page. So we're gonna have a redirect set up and we'll set up what that is down here in just a second. The other thing I want is an active campaign hook because I want them to send this contact to active campaign. So you'll need the plugin for active campaign, of course, to make this happen, but Elementor moves in with active campaign very seamlessly. So we've got both these things set up. So you're gonna take this redirect and you're gonna redirect them to thank you ebook. So that's gonna take them to just a generic thank you page that says, thanks, please wait for five minutes. You're gonna get a confirmation and then you'll get your ebook. Great. Then the second thing we want is we wanna have them tagged appropriately in active campaign so that they're being sent through the right funnel. Then we just go into Active Campaign. We set up our settings in there, and then we're we're pretty much done here. So then the only thing that we really need to think about before we take this live, maybe there would be some other little things you want to do, like maybe you wanted to round the corners or something. You can do that in here. Okay. So now that we're just about done, we can go ahead and publish this. So let's go ahead and publish. And it's, it's going to ask you why, what you want to do, like why should this pop up happen? Now we're talking about an exit intent pop up. There's a lot of other things you can do in activity, all that sort of stuff. Let's just talk about exit intent pop up. So let's just do this one. So we'll just click yes on that. We click next and then we'll just save and close it. We don't need to do anything else and it is ready to go. Pop up is live. So we can go have a look here and let's see how it goes. Boop. And there, there it is. And then all you have to do is fill it out. 
nice and easy. There you go, guys. I hope that that was helpful for you. Let me know if that's improved your recapture rates and how that's gone for you. Otherwise, if you want even more about Elementor and building websites, in the description is a link to my free guide to building websites with Elementor. It covers way more than just pop-ups, so check it out down there. Otherwise, don't forget about my free one hour consultation. I really, really want to help businesses that are in need and cannot afford a marketing consultant like me. So I'm giving away a free one hour consultation once a week to a business that really needs it. So if you want to get involved in that and you want to be the person for this week, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and then go to my site and just give me like a one or two line pitch as to why you really need it. Just let me know what you think about that and why you're really looking for my help. I would love to hear from you. I really want to help. It's actually, it's, I'm really, really excited about that. So if that sounds good to you, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and then I will catch you in the next one.